Orbic Enigma 4. The Elden Tree. Inscribed by Beradalmo, the Signifier. The Story of Greensap, the Tower of the Bosma. Here is a truth read from the bark. The spike of adamantia and its zero stone dictated the structure of reality in its orbic vicinity, defining for the earthbones their story or nature within the unfolding of the dragon's time-bound tale. The old Mary or Merefic elves were singular of purpose, only so long as it took them to realize that other towers, with their own stones, could tell different stories, each following rules inscribed by Variorum architects. And so the Mer self-refracted, each to their own creation, the Kaima following Red Heart, the Bosma burgeoning Greensap, the Ultmer erecting crystal-like lore at Alia. But of all the prismatic Mer, none were more presumptuous than the aliens of the Heartland. They built their tower in open emulation of Adamantia, using as founding stone the great red diamond they had uncovered. Kim El Adabal, said to be crystallized blood from the heart of Lorcan itself, for the heart on its arrow passed over the heartlands, birthing one of that post nimic's quaternary meanings. Thus did white gold become Tower One, as all know. As foretold by the moth-eyed, Aeliad hubris was to bear bitter fruit, with their vision on high to behold the overworlds. They failed to note the seething needlings at their feet, until the thralls rose up and took their tower away from them. Kim El Adabal they took as well, but not before the archmage Anumaril fangled an eightfold staff of towers, each segment a semblance of a tower in its dance. And then seven of these segments were borne by white gold knights to distant fold places where they were hidden. This was all unknown to Pelin al Essir, be certain, or there might have been a different eight divines. Thus, white gold. On to Greensap. The Boich elves, who were of the earth bones, who most hearkened to Geoffrey and his green songs. They did not build a tower, they grew it, a great grat oak, whose roots sprang from a perchance acorn, and this was their stone and because the acorn might perchance have been elsewhere, thus was Greensap, manifold and several, and each could walk. Therefore each Greensap was also every Greensap. Within each were told all the stories of the green, with every ending true, so doors therein were not always doors certain. But to this, the Boich become Bosma became inured, and indeed, grew to relish these doors equivocal, for such was their nature in the schism of the prism. In this way the Bosma learned which songs made the trees dance, and which dances they might do. Now return we must to the eighth segment, or rather segment one, for Enumeril had fangled it in similitude to Tower One, which itself reflected Tower Zero. When the Aeliads fled the Hardlands, they went to all eight corners of the compass, and this was a chosen thing, though many corners spelled doom. But more aliens fled to Valinwood than to all other directions combined, and this too was chosen. Among these clans went Anumaril wearing Segment 1 as a female, for how but by walking can a spoke advance its hub? Greensap's elves welcomed the aliens so long as the Heartlanders agreed not to dissonate the Green Song. All agreed to this, save Enumeril, who coughed into his hand unnoticed. He asked the Great Cameron to show him Greensap, and was brought to one that by happenstance stood then in Elden Root. Once within the Great Grat, he passed through a door equivocal and found his desire, the perchance acorn. It was one of many, but for Enumeril, one was enough. Next, the fanglement. Anumaril brought forth segment one among the roots and showed it to the golden nut, and this told an ending, so that the stone became a definite acorn. That elden tree would not walk again, but Anumaril yet had further intentions for it. Using his dentition as tonal instruments, 
he dismantled his bones and built of them a Mundus machine that mirrored Nern and its planets. And when he had used all his substance in fangling this orrery, he placed the segment scepter within, hiding it between the moons. Then he waited, but what he waited for did not eventuate, and perchance he's waiting yet, for Enumeril had hoped to convert Greensap into white gold, and thereby make the Heartlanders' realm anew. However, Enumeril did not know, and was not able to know, why his plan went awry. You see, Aeliad magic is about will and shall and must, but under Greensap, all is perchance. The Aeliad Fangler's plan could not succeed, and yet neither could it fail, for this is a story that has not yet found its ending.